Hi, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Louis Vuitton unboxing for you. I told you guys when I started this channel that I have a problem and I know it. After this reveal, I'm headed straight to Ban Island where I'll be in very good company and we're gonna give my pocketbook a rest. And so this is the final hurrah going out with a bang or so I like to think. And from here on out, it's just enjoying the stuff I have at least for a little bit. And so here we go, let's get into the unboxing. You may remember a few weeks ago, I put out a request in one of my videos to help me decide, help me pick a bag. And on Instagram, I was considering a few different ones. And so the viewers voiced their opinion, ever the vo votes are in, and we have a reveal. As always, because it's Louis Vuitton, it came in this beautiful brown paper bag, dark brown outside, light brown inside. And I noticed the observation that I was making today is that this kind of inside outside color combination reminds me of like a classic monogram speedy. Maybe that's crazy, but or maybe it's intentional. What do you think? Has anyone else ever thought that? Anyway, here is the proof of purchase. Theme long envelope cute little stamp in the back it's the details and then this purchase came in this small little hard box with the Louis Vuitton leather cording which back here is looking a little worse for wear but I don't know I never do anything with it I just keep it with all the bags and stuff I saw that LV lover CC did like a really cute like was tying her curtains with it and I thought that was really sweet I'm not creative that way. Again, I am feeling that this is like monogram. This is the canvas textile lining. No, insane. Okay. Here is my purchase. You will probably be able to tell what I picked if you knew what I was deciding from, but at the base of the bag. And so we'll do the little whoop, flip to reveal the Anna clutch. I am so excited about this bag. So the whole dilemma was trying to pick a nude kind of more formal bag for all these weddings that I'm going to this summer and probably the next few summers and just in general to have in my collection. I was realizing specifically because I'm a bridesmaid a few times this summer that all of my shoes and bags were black and that kind of doesn't work with the whole wedding vibe thing. And so I thought, you know, I would add something, you know, a strong staple to my collection, uh, something that will be with me for a long time because it is appropriate to have, you know, a light neutral bag in your collection. And so I was just really excited to do that. I was deciding between the Saint Germain PM, the Alma BB in the same dune color, and then this is the Anna wallet. And I will go into why I picked this in just a minute. The first one that I was looking at at the store was kind of scratched up on this bar. And so now I know to look out for it. Um, it came with this polishing cloth, which I'm going to wipe down right now. I know that this bar will be a magnet for scratches and fingerprints. The vernis in this color, not so much with the fingerprints, but you can just, you can see the video camera. It's pretty reflective. It's pretty great. Um, yeah. So it says Louis Vuitton Paris on the little bar in front. This is one piece of vernis leather. So it's upside down on the back and then the front. You have to excuse me. The inside here, I thought it was so cute too, and I'm going to wipe that down. There are a couple fingerprints from when I was looking at it at the store. It says, you know, was founded in 1854. And here is the detachable strap. This is not long enough for me to do crossbody because I'm a, a, you know, kind of a larger lady, but it's great for shoulder carry. And it's the same Dune Verney color, which is great. And these have the Louis Vuitton stamp on both the clasps. And then inside, this is like how pristine this bag is, is it still has this plastic on it. 
Oh yeah, so I was saying that the original one that I was looking at at the store was kind of scraped up and a little worse for wear. And so my essay ordered a new one for me and it came in today and I'm so excited. It was like never been touched, never been, you know, tainted by non Louis Vuitton employee hands. You know what I'm talking about. For those of us who are like obsessed with a brand new bag. So then inside this bag, it's kind of like a canvas not a textile lining, like a soft textile lining. In the back, there are six card slots, leather, and I don't know if you'll be able to see the stamp back there. It says Louis Vuitton made in France, which is very exciting. And then there's in the front, see if I can get a good angle on this, there's the kind of zipper pocket. So there are six card slots and a zipper pocket and then a large sex section. So it's kind of similar to like a wallet on chain, although it is a little bit bigger just in terms of length, <coughs> excuse me. Inside it came with this little care booklet, monogram for me, and then these cards. Here's the information for anyone who wants it. That is in French. So it's um, varnish, calf leather exterior, calf leather, and textile lining, which I covered. So this bag retails for, let me go back to my receipt, currently $1,730 here in the States. So it's either the same price or just a little bit different from an Alma BB. And I really liked the versatility of this bag since I think for more formal events, I can carry it on my shoulder with the chain, which is beautiful, or as a clutch, because this chain, while it's not detachable, does tuck in pretty easily, and I would say more so easily than the wallet on chain, mostly because it's a much shorter one, or carry it as a clutch, which I think is great, or as w with the shoulder strap, which I really like. I was looking at, um, like, you know, neutral colored Louis Vuitton bags online and something that I didn't notice and it's actually kind of I'm not sure if it's going to show up on camera but something that I couldn't see online is that with the dune color which is this color there is like a small pearlescent shimmers to it which I really like I think it adds like another depth and dimension to the bag it just like makes it a little bit more interesting. I also like this kind of retro bar and like more subtle feel to this. So it is more appropriate for formal events where it's, I mean, it's not about what you're wearing, but I'll still feel comfortable and happy with the bag I have and confident in my own outfit where without going full crazy, you know, I don't know it's just like it can be a little bit more conservative despite having LV all over it yeah so this is the Anna clutch I'm really happy about this the only other person on YouTube that I saw that had this bag and did a review on it was Stanley Dragon Jr and she was talking about having some issues with the magnet not really holding you know I don't really know because I haven't used this bag but in the store and with what I carry it seemed to work out and so maybe they worked out some of the kinks because I think that might have been one of her original videos actually it was an older one but that was pretty much that's pretty much it as far as this bag it's not super trendy or super popular but I think it's gonna be a really great piece and I just feel really good about it I would like to own an Alma BB one day but I just felt like for the formal events and with the hand carry and maybe a lot of it is also my size, you know, it looked a little silly or I felt it looked a little silly being a little bit bigger and having this tiny bag and it's like, what are you doing? Whereas this is like a clutch where I think, you know, proportionally it just looked, it looked right and the shoulder strap was the right length and yeah, and then she came brand new, made in France, which is always super fun. And so I'm taking this Anna wallet and I'm scooting myself right off to Ban Island for sure for a while. So yeah, please let me know what you think in, of this bag in the comments down below. If you have this bag, definitely shout out about it um, down below because I don't think it's a very well-known Louis Vuitton bag. It's not like the favorite or, you know, the 
crazy pochette matee that we all have going on on YouTube. Um, subscribe to this channel if you like videos like this. Thank you to all my current subscribers. You guys are awesome and I am just overwhelmed and totally humbled and just, yeah, over the moon that people care to watch my videos and we get to talk about purses and share about the things that we all love here and I just think I just think that it's so great. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll leave you here. Have a great day, everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.